at the Santa Ana property. What we have here is granite with magnetite on the side here. This is pulled from up there. What we're doing now is clearing off this entire outcrop. The width from here so far down to where J2 is is all semi-massive to massive sulfides. As you can see, calcopyrite and magnetite. Nice, decent width here so far of about 15 meters exposed. Take a look at some of the mineralization and bedrock here. Hammer a couple chunks off here. So we're going to hammer a whole bunch of samples off here, get a nice wide sample. So the area where we're at is roughly above attic number two. Inside attic number two there is a 18 meter wide scarn lens with calcopyrite, pyrite, pyrotite, some magnetite, and it is exposed inside the attic. We are 75 meters away uphill. And you can see the exposed mineralization. I've hammered a bunch of samples off in a bunch of different areas. You can see the scarn, massive sulfides there. See the calcopyrite. So I've taken a bunch of samples off and I'm just gonna go through them. I placed them where I hammered them off. See in bedrock there, bedrock there, more samples up here. This is all bedrock. Another sample here. And that's from right here. See the malachite staining there. Get another sample from right here. Mineralization continues all the way over there. These are some more samples. All these samples come from out in here. Nice big chunks here. From right there, as you can see, we are at the floor here. You can see the sulfides 
here as well. Some more samples pulled off the floor. So this is all mineralized. All the way over to where J2's working. So over there is where we took the last samples, five meters away is where you come across a large quartz vein cutting through the scarn and it's exposed from where my dad is all the way over there and we're still exposing it. That's a piece of scarn that was interwoven. Interesting quartz vein. About five meters wide as well. Massive sulfides and scarn over there. Quartz starts here, goes up all the way to the edge here, and then you have more sulfides up top there. You can see here's some of the quartz here. So we have a sample over the width of five meters from up there behind that dude all the way down to over here. We stopped about right here where the quartz vein is. This is the sample, composite chip sample, taken 30 to 50 gram pieces every 10 centimeters, avoiding any obvious huge blobs of calcopyrite. We want to get a good average grade. So this is the tag here for future reference. Oh, we do have some obvious calcopyrite in there. But it's hard when a lot of it's semi-massive and massive. So this is our sample here, taken over five meters. We'll get this out to the lab. On to the next place, we're going to take another large sample over another area with massive calcopyrite, so we'll make a new video on that. Cheers.